Hello and welcome to today's video. Now you join me on the kitchen floor and that's because we've got a problem with our washer dryer. Now, uh, as you can see from the title of the video, this is a Fix It Friday. And the problem that we've got with our washer dryer is it's throwing an error code, which is E20. And also when the washer's finished, the clothes that are in there are still quite damp. So usually that means I have to do another spin to get the sort of water off and make the clothes a little bit drier. So even then, I don't think it's getting them as dry as it should do. So I had a little look online and the error code E20 on the AEG Lavamat Turbo means that there's something wrong with the drainage, which makes sense because the water's not getting out. And the first port of call is down here, which is the filter. And the washing machine has done this once before. I kind of ignored it and um, it meant that when I did come round to looking at the filter down here, the washing machine was full of water because it couldn't drain and uh, the kitchen floor got absolutely flooded with water. Now, we've got a nice shiny new kitchen, so we don't really want to do that in here. So hopefully, I've caught this in time and we can fix it simply by clearing out the filter on the drainage side. Hopefully, there is something blocking this and there's not a problem with the pipe because I don't really want to have to clean a pipe out, but we'll see. So I've got some stuff in readiness for this. I've got the washing up bowl to put the filter in once we remove it. And I've got some old towels because invariably there's going to be some water and I want something to mop it up. And then I guess I can test out what's happening with the washing machine afterwards by washing the towels. So um, yeah, hopefully just cleaning the drain will fix this E20 error message. And I read also that like it's a, it can be an E21, E22, E23, E24 error, which all sort of points to the same thing on an AEG machine. And that is that it can't drain the water quick enough. So let's uh, switch to a camera a bit closer to here and uh, try and get this cover off and hopefully not soak the camera. Okay, so I think we just push it there. Actually, something in these machines, I think the red thing you can see there is actually a key that will unlock the machine if the automatic locking mechanism has failed. I think you stick this red thing in somewhere and it makes magic. That's what she said, that's what she said, that's what she said. Right, so um, how do we get this out? Right, I'm just gonna move the camera back a bit because I don't want it peeing out. Right, okay, so I've put a towel down and uh, hopefully there's any drips when I pull this out. Oh, hang on. Oh, look, I see, so look, you pull this down and this becomes a sort of funnel. Um, I don't think I have anything that low down and small to uh, filter it. To actually pour it into, is it all gonna go everywhere? Uh, yeah, that looks, oh, sh sugar. Okay. Um, what do I have that's that small? I've got, a baking tray and we can push that right up and then there we go look at that never thought to use something like that now it's not gushing out which is good so we'll let the worst of it drain out there we go look not much water at all Okay, I'm just gonna leave that dripping for a minute just to get the worst of it out. And then hopefully we, when we come back, we'll be able to take the filter out itself. There we go, a bit stiff. We turn it anti-clockwise. Oh, hello. Do you know what? I'm gonna put a towel there. It's a pull. Ah, there we go, right. Oh, 
Now we're at the pole point. Hello! Holy sh sugar! <laughs> right, okay. Ah ha ha ha! I think I can see the problem. That is why it wasn't draining. There seems to be quite the selection of things in there. Let's uh, have a look. Okay, so that's just fluff. More fluff. And some security stickers. Money! Look at that, guys. 80p there. Whoop, whoop. Okay. So this is why the washing machine wasn't draining properly. Now, because this is a washer dryer, I imagine a lot of this fluff is just from like drying clothes, I would say. The hole that it came out from is absolutely filthy as well. Reminds me of a girl I used to. Anyway, right. So uh, let's get the filter cleaned and also get this dirty, dirty black hole cleaned as well. In you go, you filthy boy. Yeah, that looks uh, better already. And uh, definitely easier for water to flow through it. Right, so uh, I've got a microfiber cloth. I think what I'm gonna do is get that a bit wet. And then I'm gonna use it to clean the dirty hole out. Because eventually that stuff's just gonna get sucked through the drain anyway. Not a trained gynecologist, but I'll take a look. <coughs> Stick a microfiber cloth up it. Spin it around. That hole is looking a lot cleaner. Excellent. Right, so um, guess we've got to refit the filter. Now I think when it comes to refitting the filter, you've got to push it in so the arrow is facing upright and then turn it clockwise. And then it finishes up. Yeah, it's not gonna go any further. So it finishes up, so we've got the facility to pull the hose down when we need to do this again. Top tip. Right, okay, well, I think that's solved the problem. But what I need to do now is actually do some washing and see if we still get the E20 error code. So uh, let's cut back just before the washing finishes. Well, I think we're at the end of the cycle and it seems to have emptied of water and the E20 error code has gone. Just a few seconds remaining and hopefully the door will click and there'll be some beeps and uh, we should be golden, hopefully. But yeah, there's definitely less water in the bottom. Well, there's no water in the bottom and it did go up to full speed spin just before I started recording this. So we could be in luck, guys. Could have fixed something. It was a relatively straightforward fix. As I say, the only thing is getting the... Ah! Yep, yeah, there we go. Excellent. Let me just twist the dial to stop it beeping again. Yeah, the only thing is when you're getting that little spout out that's part of the filter, you really need something low, like a tray, to catch the water coming out. But I imagine if the washing machine is blocked, and you have to drain it that way, that's going to be quite difficult to do. Yeah, I'm not sure how you do that. You just need like a really deep, low tray. But it looks like we don't need to worry about that. It's all working perfectly. So that is a massive relief. So that is it from this Fix It Friday video. For those of you who've been asking about the sound bar, I will get back to that, I promise you. Um, I just don't think I can do anything else without uh, hot air station to remove the chips 
but I might have a little poke around and at least try and diagnose it and then we'll work out some way of fixing it. But yeah, that will be uh, coming soon. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. But for now, it's game over.